Hey, what's going on YouTube? Back at it again. So I thought I would give my man cave slash garage tour. I wanted to give the tour and how my garage normally looks. A lot of people will make sure their stuff is spick and span and you know, it's just above the board and over the top. I'm gonna show you how I like to keep, you know what I'm saying, pretty tidy. But this is where I hang out a lot. This is where I like to kick it at. So here as you enter my garage, first thing you see is my table saw old school craftsman table saw i mean this thing i think my model is from the 70s or 80s i use mine all the time blade guard is up hey if you have a table saw make sure you just keep your blade guard in place all right let's just be safe let's just be safe one of the favorite parts of my shop i guess as you can say would probably be my workbench my workbench on top of it is just three quarter inch plywood also made this like drop down area for my miter saw let me just show you real quick miter saw here maybe pull up pull the miter saw up lock my latches in place turn it from the 45 back to zero and i'm ready to rock so but i enjoy keeping my miter saw in the down position because Oftentimes, I want to use, be able to utilize the full space of my uh, workbench. Put T-Track in my workbench uh, just so I have multiple areas to hold down projects or whatever else um, I'm working on or my wife's working on. She does a lot of decor items. So, you know, she's in the middle of a decor factory right now for Halloween. So it's important that we both have options. So the underneath space is just kind of a blank slate. You know, I keep uh, saw horses, just random knickknacks. I got some brakes I got to slap on my truck. Keep my apron hanging randomly. I'm all about safety gear. So the other side of my workbench, I bought a little piece of half inch aluminum and I actually attached it to the bottom. If you can see that. And then I, uh, I took a rasp and I rounded off the corners. And this is a brake caliber hanger, but I use brake caliber hangers just to hang Things I use all the time on my workbench. And same half inch uh, aluminum. I took it, took some Gorilla Glue, and I kind of just found a random basket in my house. And these are things that I use all the time on my workbench. Bench, bench cookies, uh, Speed Square, just anything that I need to be able to grab, tape measure, pencil. So hopefully, you know, any type of ideas you might have for your workbench, a 15 amp, I think that's 10 plugs, 120 volt, so accessible at all times. Uh, I have a front vise on my workbench. I screwed up the hose, so I'm not the type of person that's going to try to hide. You know, this is uh, white oak, so I definitely didn't want to go buy more. So I just flipped it over. It's still strong, still works. Um, you know, I just bought a 7th, 8th inch piece of white oak and made the ends myself. And that way I'm just able to keep the cost down. So I keep a spindle of paper down here. And um, that way my wife is going to be spray painting. She can kind of just roll this right out. Put it on top of the workbench. Reduce overspray. Like I was mentioning. She has a lot of projects she's working on right now. Uh, I, bought, I built some stall bars in my garage at the very beginning of the coronavirus, COVID lockdown situation we had going on. So I got some stall bars. I keep exercises that I can use with resistant bands and jump ropes and you know I got a parachute and mats and just different things to use my own body weight to, to kind of work out a little bit let me turn on some more light I do have LEDs back here um, this is how I like to chill with less light but I'll turn on a big light so we can kind of see a little bit more so this is my stand-up desk this is where I do YouTube editing you know I just bought a bunch of pipe from Lowe's and I just kind of determined like the height that I thought was good for me. That's my dog's water bowl. When she's out here kicking it with me, I put fresh water in there. So I'm out here standing up a lot, working, and sometimes I just want to be able to sit down real quick. So I do keep a chair here. Um, I built this shelf with um, that way I can have a keyboard and mouse here. Everything here I built. This is scrap cedar from another project, which um, a TV box that I built for a buddy and also built for myself. This is scrap cedar and, you know, just kind of put it together and allow me to be able to have a place to edit. Over here, uh, 
so my wife's car literally kisses right up near these wood shelves that I built um, we do the tennis ball method to make sure she has a plenty of room but I built these wood storage shelves she's a big decor queen so she likes to do decor for every holiday so I built these shelves so she can put her quick access items out here but I didn't take them all the way to the edge I purposely wanted to make a landing area um, this is a landing area for things that she's currently using or things that we're decorating this is just MDF that way if we spill some stain on there or, or paint who cares we just take it off and put a new piece up there and got the kiddos bikes kind of hanging up above there so that really works for us over here this is a storage area for my wood for whatever projects I might have coming up uh, it is empty meaning that I've been doing a lot of projects lately also the very bottom here is where I keep power tools that get used pretty often but I don't want in my workbench and I don't um, want in my toolbox so I just took a uh, well here I just took a 12 inch clamp and clamped it to the two by four and I keep paper towels there but I mean my routers I have some um, corded power drills some uh, a hand planer got a belt sander a circ saw a few sanders a bunch of clamps down in there uh, just different things that so I kind of just wanted to build this two by four that go into my right underneath my wood storage and it, it holds everything nothing moves so that's a really good thing next thing over here we have so these are like some like random shelves that I just built for some of my items that I don't want on the floor but uh, nothing fancy these are what I would definitely call shop projects so two by fours or two by twos find the studs in the ceiling drill them into the ceiling take some two by fours and kind of bring those down and connect on the bottom this is a half inch sheet of plywood it was a four by eight and you know I took that down to a four by four and I made two structures and in the middle of both of those structures I actually mounted my TV see I my I built this TV box out of cedar and I left the back purposely open so I can mount my TV to the structure that I built but when I'm not watching TV I am able to just push that into that box TV's hidden, that's what the front of the box looks like. So that way if I'm gonna be creating a lot of mess or whatever, I don't have to worry about that. One of the favorite parts of my little man cave area is my table. I built this entire table. A few items I ordered for the table, but everything else is kind of me. Um, the top is white oak. Took some white oak, of course, laminated it together, cut a circle, put some of my favorite bourbons in the middle some of these I've had I've tasted but I don't have a bottle never had a full bottle myself but I just know what I like so put those in the middle finished it with some spar urethane I really enjoy this the tabletop itself is connected to my barrel with same iron pipe that you see on my standing desk um, I bought this barrel it was a completely beat up barrel sanded it down stained it with aged oak it's a real whiskey barrel it actually has had whiskey in it a fully serviced barrel i keep the cork in it because if when i take this cork out the smell of whiskey immediately is in my man cave i really like that but when i'm out here hanging out or working or with my daughter or my wife i don't really want the smell of whiskey attacking their nostrils footrest i ordered this from a company out of ohio and i ordered these chairs from amazon i think i might replace the chairs um, they only can hold around 250 pounds and that's plenty for me but some of my buddies are some big dudes and I don't really have anywhere for them to sit other than that little chair over there so I might have to replace those. Uh, if you've seen my review on this 72 inch Husky toolbox, I really enjoy this toolbox. Um, this, takes you, this takes us to the back of my little man cave area. So on top here um, I keep a random charger. I also have another charger for, I use Hitachi or Metabo HPT tools, stands for Hitachi Power Tools. So I built this little rinky dink drill holder and charging station out of MDF. Probably needs to be replaced, but you know, I keep a reciprocating saw, circ saw, angle grinder, oscillating tool, a couple of hammer drills, 
uh, impact drill. Just all ready to rock at any time. Over here, you know, if you're into that type of stuff, I keep a little white sage, you know, keep those spirits clean in the garage. I got my record player. I'm always rocking the record player. It's always quick to just enjoy my record player at any time. I keep records right next to my record player on the floor. I've got some good George Clinton in there, some Dr. Dre. So I'm all about actually using the items that I have. Some people collect bourbons or whiskeys or vodkas or scotch or gin or whatever, but everything that I have, I drink. Um, that way, you know, I know I'll, I'll actually use it. This was given to me. This is Crown Royal. I think Crown Royal is pretty uh, trash. So it's just there. And if someone wants some, they can have it. I don't ever drink Crown Royal. But these items here, some of my favorite um, bourbons, Elijah Craig, Small Batch, Evan Williams, Bottled and Bond, Knob Creek, Single Barrel, uh, Wolcott. I really love this Wolcott. I don't think it's 90 proof, is it? Yeah, it is 90 proof. And it's pretty good stuff. And this chestnut has really been growing on me a lot. You know, really enjoy this stuff. So I'm, I'm kind of big on if it's not at least 90 proof, then it's usually not worth drinking. I built this rinky dink structure as well. This is a bunch of abandoned cedar and then some copper pipe. Just something to be able to set my bourbon on. Uh, here, old picture of me when I was in the Marine Corps. So kind of goes with the name of my page. And this is kind of the goodies I keep for my cigars in here. So, you know, lighters and cutters and punch. Uh, this is my little cigar Bible, is what I call it, where I write notes about the cigars that I smoke and what I enjoyed about them, what I didn't. The pen I used for that. It's my last promotion in the Marine Corps when I was promoted to a staff sergeant near and dear my heart. Keep that here too. And this is what I call my coffee mess. Uh, so out here, you know, I, I like Black Rifle coffee. I, like, I have a coffee grinder out here. I also have a percolator machine. And I can set all this up anytime. Go get some water. Boom, I'm ready to rock. Got my coffee on deck. Have my sword here from my last few days in the Marine Corps. This is a uh, portrait of the Beirut Memorial. It's in Jacksonville, North Carolina. Beirut, in 1983, we lost a lot of Marines in Beirut. Lebanon, unprovoked attack, a bombing of our barracks. So I kind of keep that there in memory. Keep a flag of the Marine Corps up here. And those who used to watch uh, Home Improvement, you know what Benford Tools is. Benford Tools, real men don't need instructions. If you don't know what it is, just look up Home Improvement. You would know exactly what I'm talking about. This is my bug out bag. Maybe I'll do a tour of this soon. Um, but my bug out bag keeps, it has three days of supplies for a family of four in it. And at any moment, I can grab it and... I'm ready to rock. It's hanging up there with on some of that conduit. One thing also I have up here is a air filtration system by Wynn. It's really good for mostly sawdust. It can it does take in when I smoke cigars and kind of blow it out. So it takes in that cigar smoke here and kind of just pushes it out here and maybe pushes it out towards the front of the garage. Definitely going to be adding my refrigerator. Definitely going to be adding my humidor for my cigars on a more massive level but what other suggestions do y'all have what do you have in your man cave like do you call it a man cave i call it my chill spot just use a man cave so you have a reference here but uh let me know what you think about this if you're not already a subscriber to this channel hey, just go ahead subscribe i'm always talk about random things mostly has to do with a few things that i use to take care of my family keep myself busy and reviews also like this video comment below i'll catch y'all soon